In this video, we are going to study linear regression coefficients analysis in Python using Jupyter Notebook. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Ok, so let's go into the web browser where the Jupyter Notebook is located. So the first step within the video regarding this Jupyter Notebook is that we need to insert a new cell below and we do so by clicking on the insert cell below button. And the first step regarding the code is we need to import the corresponding packages. Therefore we comment this as step 1, packages. And we are going to import statsmodels.api as sm. We're importing that feature from statsmodels for data downloading. Then we're going to import stats models.formula.api as smf. We're importing that feature from stats models for multiple linear regression calculation. To run this code lines or this cell, we can either click run or press shift enter on the keyboard. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For data, we're going to create an object named house prices underscore object which is equal to sm feature from statsmodels.datasets.get underscore r dataset and we open parentheses first parameter which is data name equals to within quotations we have house prices comma package equals to within quotations aer comma cash equals to true so what we're doing here is the following or downloading house prices object from our package AER and with cache equals to true means that once we download the data it saves it locally so we don't need to go and download it again every time we run the code. Notice that this will download data and documentation within house prices object therefore we're going to create a new object named house prices with only the data therefore equals to house prices underscore object and we get its dot data attribute. So let's go ahead and visualize part of this data and we do so with print and we have house prices object the one with only the data dot ILOC or integer location semicolons all the rows comma from columns 0 2 3 with Python notation that's going to be the first three columns of data dot head method so we visualize only part of it so to run this code lines or this cell we're going to press shift enter on the keyboard and we can see the results being printed and we can see part of this data frame. So we see the first five rows and the first three columns of data of price, lot size and bedrooms. The reason for this is that we're going to fit a multiple linear regression in which price is the dependent or explained variable which is being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. If you want to read the full documentation of this data, you can do so with the following code line, which is print and from the house prices underscore object, we get its dot two underscores doc, two underscores attribute, and we go ahead and press shift enter on the keyboard, and we can see the full documentation below. So now we continue with step number three, which is the model. For this, we're going to create an object named MLR, which stands for multiple linear regression, and it is equal to SMF feature from statsmodels.ols or an analyst course function, and within it the following parameters, which are formula equals to within quotations because it is a string. We have price as the dependent or explained variable. Special character means being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms comma data equals to the house prices object that we created above the one that only has the data and we go ahead and fit this regression open and close parenthesis so to run this code line or this cell we press shift enter on the keyboard and now we continue with step number four which is coefficients analysis and for this, the first step is we want to print the summary results from that regression. And we do so with print and from the MLR object, we get its dot summary method open and close parentheses. So to run this code line, we press shift enter on the keyboard and we can see the summary results being printed. OLS or ordinary least squares regression results. And specifically, we want to focus on the coefficients table right here. So we have intercept, lot size and bedrooms coefficients, coefficient estimates, standard errors, 
t-statistics and their associated p-values. So here focusing on the p-value for that lot size coefficient, we have an individual null hypothesis that lot size coefficient is equal to zero. If rejected, adding lot size improved linear regression model. If not rejected, adding lot size did not improve linear regression model. Similarly, when we focus on the p-value for that bedrooms coefficient, we have again an individual null hypothesis that bedrooms coefficient is equal to zero. If rejected, adding bedrooms improved linear regression model. If not rejected, adding bedrooms did not improve linear regression model. So what we want to do next is we want to print only the coefficients table and we do so with the following code line which is print and from the MLR object again it, we get its summary method open and close parenthesis and from that summary method we're going to get its tables and specifically from the tables the one that's found at position one that's Python notation therefore it's the second position and it is a single code line so we just go ahead and press shift enter on the keyboard and as we can see it printed only that coefficient stable and if we compare it to the one above we see that it's exactly the same as we have here the corresponding intercept lot size bedrooms coefficient estimates standard errors t statistics p values which are the same coefficient estimates the same as above standard errors same as above t statistics as well same as above and last we have the same p value as above okay so with this, we finish with the code file, so we can go ahead and save it. And with this, we also finish with this video. Thank you for watching.